So if you own your home or it's a single family home um, and you control the, the, the whole building structure, there's a whole bunch of interesting things you can do in addition to uh, just looking at the lighting uh, systems or the appliances. One of the major sources of discomfort in uh, in, in homes as well as a source of major energy loss is insufficient insulation levels. Often when we feel drafts in our, our homes we think oh it's got to be the windows. The windows are leaky and, and, and a lot of the window companies have gone out there and you know, pitched replacement windows. And Having windows that seal well uh, is important but windows are typically a pretty small amount of the wall area. A lot, a lot of the wall is just wall and often it has, doesn't have a lot of insulation in it. Similarly the roofs uh, especially in older homes don't have much insulation if at all. And that insulation, whether it's uh, a cellulose, which is basically like chipped up uh, a newspaper, um, or fiberglass, which is more common, or even some foam insulations, um, that stuff has a major impact how comfortable the home is, uh, getting rid of drafts, and also in reducing energy waste. And also, from on the health side, uh, you can end up getting some mold and mildew in parts of the building where there isn't insulation because all of the hot, wet air tends to go there and, uh, and, and, and that causes some issues as well. So um, having a, uh, a, a, a full test of the, the air leakage in, in your home and, and an infrared scan of the, of the exterior of your home uh, can give you a, a sense of how well the home is insulated as well as how leaky uh, the walls or the windows and, 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 and the various penetrations in, in the walls are. And getting that cleaned up, um, the caulking and foaming in the, the gaps, um, insulating the walls, and ensuring that uh, you know everything is tight and, and, and well insulated in the roof as well, um, that has a major impact in the uh, energy consumption in your home. Another thing that you have control over when you own your home is, is the, the heating system itself um, and, and the cooling system. Both the type of equipment that you have um, as well as how often you run it uh, have a major impact in your energy consumption and your energy bills and also your impact on the planet. For heating, the most common that we'll see is, is, a, is a forced air uh, system, meaning that there's no boiler plant, no, um, no water that's being pumped around. It's just uh, one of those uh, you know, big units. You have duct work running through your home and you have uh, it's typically going to be gas that goes into or propane that goes into your, your furnace and it, and it creates some, some hot air that gets blown around. Um, the conventional efficiency uh, furnaces are about 80% efficient. If you look at a condensing furnace, those can be over 90% efficient. So you can get uh, sometimes as high as 95% efficient. You can get um, a lot of savings there. Also, uh, the, the fan that's, that's within that system, um, there are some fans that are only one speed on and off, and sometimes they have a, a variable speed fan if it's one of these more efficient uh, furnaces. The way you can tell if it's got the Energy Star label or not. Typically, your, your cooling might be tied in with that same system. So you have a, a cooling coil for the summer, and you have a heating portion for, for the winter. You want to look for Energy Star devices on, on the cooling side as well. And one of the other things to consider with your cooling, especially if you have an older cooling um, system, is what is the refrigerant? What is the freon that's used within that system? A lot of the older systems use a, a refrigerant called R22. R22 is not allowed to be made anymore. It was a major ozone depleting uh, gas. And so um, now typically the refrigerant that you'll see is R410A or something like that. Um, and that is better on the environment. Occasionally that refrigerant will leak out. And when that leaks out, if you've got the old R22, it's really bad for the environment.